just want to make it to heaven I just want to make it in Because you are a child of God. 
There are going to be times that you're going to be disliked and misunderstood because you are to be a peculiar people. Right. You are to be people who are to love folk right. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. under difficult situations. Yeah. We have to learn that the love that God expects from us is called an agape love. Right. It's not an erotic love that we only like people for what they look like or what they feel like. But we love people in an agape way. It's not just a philos love that we love people who are in our family members and people who are like-minded to us. But God said that we are to love each one another. And I'm sure that Joseph had a time with these brothers of his because they saw him for something other than what they believed. Joseph was one who was entrusted with the dream, and Joseph had no problem sharing the dream. Sometimes when you share your dream with people, you have dream killers show up. So he will show up, but the only purpose is to kill the dream. The reason that there was an untimely death for the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King because they were dream killers. Oh, yeah. But I see what they did on that porch in Memphis at that little hotel where they sniper took his life and Sir Hans, Sir Hans bullet ripped through his body and it killed the dreamer. But the proof is told that in a secret ceremony right now they didn't kill the dream. Somebody said that. All of the bullets that you would penetrate and take the life of the man, but the dream lived on it. But Rock Hussein Obama is living proof that the dream will outlive the dream. It doesn't matter how many assassinations go on and how many people come to take your life. Long as God has put in you, up, it will come to bear. But God has set in motion no man, no woman, no bullet can stop. Amen. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph had the audacity to stand before these beloved brothers in here who he dearly loved, but he had to give them a message. And I know how you feel because there are times that I have to stand before the children of God, my dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, and I have to tell you some messages you don't want to hear. But that's the reason that I tag this, I am Joseph. I tag it that because Joseph had to tell them that there are going to be some days that will come that you're going to bow down that I dreamed that your sheets had to bow down before me and that was the last straw for the brother. They said that's enough of that. It's enough that he has that fancy coat on that he doesn't have to get out here and work like him. Now he's talking about we're going to have to bow down before him. They plotted to kill him. Yeah. Sometimes because God has given you a message to deliver Folk may not try to take your life physically, but they will ostracize you. They will move you into a position where they don't want to be bothered. What you have to make sure is that God gave you the message. See, the reason that Joseph was protected wasn't because he said it, it's because God stood behind him. Some of the reason you're going through what you're going through, God didn't tell you, you just said it. That's the reason you're being persecuted. That's the reason when he gave the beatitude, he said, blessed are those who are persecuted for my name's sake. Some of you persecuted for your own name. See, see you looking at me like Joseph's brothers looking at him right now. I'm just trying to help you so that you quit jumping out on that limb and talking about somebody push you. No, it wasn't strong enough to hold you. There are limbs that we get on and we wind up on the ground. Didn't nobody push you. You shouldn't have been on it. Because if God built the tree, he'd have told you what limb to get on and you wouldn't have fallen. You fell because you got on the limb you wanted to get. That's why you got bruises on you. Joseph, Joseph had to tell his brothers that it said in that verse they hated him the more because if you go into 37 and you look at it real closely, you'll find out that they hated him the more, but in 37 and 4 they said they had already begun to hate him. Some people, their hate is percolating. It hasn't reached the boiling point, but it's already moving forward. You, you, you don't hear me right now. But I, what I understood is also, watch this. Who told Joseph to release the dream so quick. Sometimes we in trouble because you open your mouth before well, it's time. Right. It's quiet up in here now. Sometimes you're in that position because your mouth engaged before your brain and the spirit moves. Sometimes you need to wait until the Lord tells you before you start talking. 
sometimes we find ourselves all by ourselves because we have positioned ourselves to be by ourselves. But Joseph, Joseph, this Joseph who was in the pit. And what I like about it, the brothers, when they put him in the pit, they put him there for a purpose because they took his coat, they killed an animal, they put blood on his coat, took it back to his dad and said, look, your son has been slain. They, they loved him enough not to kill him, but they purposed to kill him. And then one of them went back to let him out of the hole and they had already come and the Midianites had taken him and they sold him into slavery. So he went from the pit into Potiphar's house. He was sold into slavery. And sometimes it seemed like we going from one bad Seemed like I thought I was going to a good place when the ladder came to get me out the pit. I thought I was going to a better place, but it seemed like I left the pit and now I'm in a worse place. Now he's moved from the pit and now he's in Potiphar's house. Yeah. And you know what happened in Potiphar's house. He went there trying to be a godly man, trying to do what God had called him to do. He was, you know how that is. You come to church, try to do what you're supposed to do. Bring the Lord's tithe. Speak to two or three folk that you like. Don't look at the ones you don't like. You, 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 but, but God wasn't a part of that. That's the reason we go from one bad place to another. Go. We want to do it our way. We've come to church. We've already stopped by Burger King. We plan on having it our way. But I stopped on my way to closing this. I won't be with you long to tell you that God was no part of what you was doing. Sometimes we just have to stand on my feet and say it was me, oh Lord, who made that mistake. Quit blaming God for the stuff that I do this wrong. God wasn't no part of that. When he, when he was taken out of the pot, out of the pit, taken in the pot of us, trying to be of a good person, but the Bible declared that, the, that God was with him. Some of the places you at, God is not. You're there on your own. That's when you're going through so much. That's the reason it seems like Groundhog Day, the movie, you keep showing up in the same place, doing the same old thing, expecting a different result. And God is trying to take that door of the stuff that keeps we are going through these groundhog experiences because we won't let go of a bad dream. Yeah. Joseph, Joseph had the right dream and moved him out of the pit and put him in Potiphar's house. He was a handsome young man and Potiphar's wife looked at him and she asked him, will you lay with me? And he looked at her because he was a godly man. He said, no, I can't do that. And she proposed in her mind and said, okay, if he won't, I'm going to say he did. It's better, watch this, I'm trying to help somebody. It's better that folk lie on you than you living with them. Sometimes, sometimes I'm all right if I, if a fucking folk can lie on me because I know it's not true. God knows it's not true. But sometimes we mad because folk just caught you. Don't get mad when you get caught. Just stop doing it. You ain't got to get mad because folk caught you, told them. Don't be mad at them. Just stop doing it. But the good news is that Joseph, 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 it was a lie. And Joseph didn't even let the lie bother him. He didn't even run and tell Potiphar when they came to get him that she lied on me. And the Bible said that in order to get away, he didn't walk away. It said he ran away. Sometimes we have to know when to run. We have to know when to run. I'm trying to get to my text so I can help you. Sometimes there's some things we just need to run away from. Instead of always running to trouble, sometimes let you be seen running away from God. Instead of running to God, so every once in a while be running away from God. Instead of running to back right there, once in a while be running. Even in the movie, The Gamble, he said you got to know when to hold it. And you have to know when to fold. Sometimes you just got to realize that that's where they're at right now. And I, I'm going to be okay. And I, I'm going to give God the glory that I, I'm not there today. I thank God that he moved me off that street. And I don't live there anymore. 